So this is what most people are being lied about, about this illegal immigration situation. They keep saying, oh, it's not all of them. Of course, it's not all of them that are bad, that come with bad intentions, still breaking the law. So automatically, they are criminals. It's terrible to say it because, of course, we're all humans, we're children of God. But I can tell you this, no, that is not true anymore. No longer, they're mostly good. Actually, and I don't have any stats on this, this is just me smelling the air, what I feel around, okay? More of them actually are not that great. Watch this video that I'm about to share with you. And this is only, of course, New York, but earlier in the week, I posted something about Tennessee. Um, it's going out of control. And if we don't get together and, and vote these people out very soon, this country will cease to be the country that it once was. It's happening more and more. It's actually snowballing. And um, we are getting distracted with uh, Tucker and Putin. And no, this is, this is, guys, this is more serious and it's actually more home than we want to make it sound like it is. It's here, it's now. The war is internal, it's now. Um, again, I am a legal immigrant, former United States Marine, uh, and um, I hate what's happening to this country. Please watch this video, share this video. And it is important because if we don't get a hold of this, we're going to lose what we once had and what my parents fought so hard to bring us to. And uh, my father was very specific and pushy about me giving back to this nation. Served the United States Marine Corps, became an entrepreneur, pay my taxes many times unfairly, as I said before, but I do so because I love this nation. Not perfect, but no other nation touches it. Watch this. So you'll understand why he's saying quitamelo de encima means take him from on top of me. In other words, he's calling on the gang to come and help him out against uh, the police officers. This is not uncommon in those countries. It's not uncommon in my country. But we're letting in people that have different cultural beliefs. That do not respect the law the same. Hence why those countries are the way they are. Uh, they lack the order of law. They are fully corrupt. Yes. Again, for those who are, of course, going to message me, this country has its corruption. Of course. Every nation, every politician got it. Those countries are known for that. That's why they are third world countries. And they will always stay third world countries and blame it on other people and why they stay like that. No. They are third world countries because they do not respect the law. They do not respect processes. And the governments of those countries understand this. So they themselves don't respect the law. They don't respect the processes. They're there to get theirs. This is a fact. Take it from me. I've been in those countries. I lived in one. I am from one. Again, this country is not perfect. But if we keep bringing, we keep letting these people in, forget government. This is a local thing. This is a local thing. Our police officers will be overwhelmed. Our stores will be overwhelmed. Our hotels will be overwhelmed. Our infrastructure will be overwhelmed. I'm here in Florida and there are so many apartments being built that it's crazy, but no more roads are being built. So some place that used to take me 10 minutes to get to, now it's taking me 45 minutes to get to because we are overwhelmed. Just keep watching. Look at the arrogance.
Do you see that? That guy is calling on the mob. Him with his cool glasses. Yes, from Venezuela. I can hear the accent. You're from Venezuela. You are garbage. And I can tell you, if you were in front of me, if I was there, if I was pressing in, 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 in Times Square at that moment, I would have beat the hell out of you. Because you're all cowards. But you know the cops can only do so much. You watch it on the TikToks and the Instagrams. You know that the government that exists right now backs you up. It's going to let you lose. It's going to let you run away. So nothing ties you to this beautiful nation of ours. You don't have to follow any laws because you don't belong here. So therefore, you're not breaking the law. It's not a law to you. You're not breaking the law because you have no law to follow. No instructions have been given to you. You're just put here to destroy. And this is a fact. I come across any of you and um, I can become a non-law following uh, citizen very quick. Look at this. This is ridiculous. One of those victims was a 67-year-old woman from Brooklyn who was dragged by the perpetrators on the boat into a bike rack, rather violent, sustaining serious injuries. Cops say the ringleader of this pattern is a man by the name of Mr. Victor Para. Para is believed to have used WhatsApp and Facebook to put out a blast get into the victim's financials, their bank account, their credit cards, use it for unauthorized transactions, or just drain it. It is incredible. Fact is, again, as I always say, these people know what they're doing. These illegal immigrants go to New York, commit the crimes because they know they can get away with it, uh, but they live in Florida. And they were asked why not do it in Florida. Oh, because they'll go to jail in Florida. They know what they're doing. These are not innocent people coming for a better life. These are criminals. What's happening to you New Yorkers that are putting up with this? What happened with the tough New Yorker attitude? I lived in New York from 91 to 95. Had to leave because uh, crime was rampant back then. But I remember coming to Florida and they're thinking that I was the toughest guy because I'm New Yorker. What's happening you guys? Why are you allowing this in your cities? Are you allowing these illegal immigrants to get credit cards, a place to stay, hot meals? But you yourselves kick around, you're homeless. I was there recently with my daughter to watch the last show of The Phantom of the Opera. I didn't watch it. I don't like those shows. But I took my daughter with her cousins and friends to watch this show for the last time. The smell was terrible. Walking at night was horrible. And that was, I think, almost two years ago. Now, I would not put one foot in New York with my daughter or any loved one. They'd be giving credit cards, hotels, and hot meals. Treat it like kings. Then they push our law enforcement around and flick us off. When they do this flicking off, they're not flicking off the cops, they're not flicking off the cameras, they're flicking us as Americans. And again, I call myself a naturalized American. I am from the Dominican Republic, but I live here. I honor this country. I support this nation. I respect this nation. And this is where I live. I am to be a net positive for this nation, so is my children. That's what you do. You come to America and you add to what you came to. So it stays the way that it was before we got here, not worse. Last night, two suspects were arraigned in part of an organized migrant robbery ring with more expected to be arraigned. One migrant was held on a $10,000 cash bond bail in charge with six counts of grand larceny. Another was granted supervised release because his charges were not bail eligible. Yesterday, in his annual trip to Albany, Mayor Adam
Newsroom signaled that he's open to issuing an executive order allowing for the NYPD to notify ICE about migrants who commit dangerous felonies. You see that, and I'm going to end it with this, really. You can go ahead and watch uh, that video yourselves. Mayor Adams is giving the cops the green light to call ICE. Like, that's a thing. You have to call ICE. You have to give them the right. You have to authorize them. You have to give them permission to call ICE. You do. If you find lawbreakers, criminals, you as mayor have to give your cops authority. You have to give them permission in order for them to follow the law. That's why New York is a is an asshole now. But again, I say New York. Tennessee's heading that way. Denver's heading that way. It's um, it's out of control. I can only thank God that we live here in Florida, but I can tell you, I go to uh, some shopping malls, and um, if this is us under control, that's crazy. Because you see them all over the place here in Florida as well. You don't mention it anywhere. You don't see videos about it. But they're all over the place as well. It's rampant. You are losing your country. I was not born here, but I will defend it with my life. What's happening to you that you're allowing this to happen to this great nation of ours? Why are we not more upset? Why are we getting entertained and sideswiped by these things that are happening always in the media? Oh, this and that. This is inside. This is local. This is at the local level. It's not just Texas anymore. It's not just the border. Border immigration crisis. It's, not, it's local. It's here. It's in your home. Your local police is getting overwhelmed. Your stores are getting savaged up. They don't care. If they get deported, they know they'll come right back. This is an invasion. This is not immigration. Take your country back. Vote these people out. Be louder. Write some letters or something. I really don't know what to do. I'm doing my part. I'm trying to share this information. I'm trying to give you an immigrant's point of view. Legal immigrants do not tolerate this. They do not like what's happening. We do not like what's happening. We do not support it. We did it the right way. We paid our dues. Cost a ton of money and years to come here legally. But we appreciate it. We don't want to lose it. So we try to be a net positive to this nation. Those of you who support illegal immigration are frauds and do not belong in this great nation of ours. Go move to wherever they're coming from. Stop saying immigrants. Stop saying migrants. It's illegal immigration. Therefore, lawbreakers, criminals. And yes, I'll say it. It's not most of them who are good anymore. I don't believe that. And that is a fact. Don't have the stats, but I'll say it. I believe it's a fact now. With that, just, just pray for this nation because we are losing it.